I open to a putty one more beautiful time grade 11 science chapter number three is welcoming you all to another session of make sure that is video number 13 filtration is what we are going to talk about we definitely had learned about mechanical method of separation didn't we yes and then after that evaporation in our last session we talk about the salt preparation from the sea water sea water and the salt is mixed together and then after that when the solar heat is applied on top of that sea water and the salt mixture sea water is getting evaporated and the salt is there for you to use that method is we call a vaporization method today we are going to talk about filtration okay let's get into the subject without further getting delayed how is coconut milk made everybody knows that your mother used to make coconut milk to put into the dishes right the coconut milk is very creamy and it is made out of scraped coconut out of this particular region you see that one now this is what she does all right she will scrape the coconut and put that inside this and mix with the water that's number one and then after that she will squeeze it she will she will squeeze it and the particles of the coconut pieces particle will be here and the milk will get poured into that tub now you're using a milk strainer like that. When the stuff is put into a milk strainer, the milky solution filters off. You see that word now. Milky solution is getting what? Filtered off, leaving the pieces of solid coconut in the strainer. So that is the filter they are talking about. To this activity, they need what? A filter. The filter paper used in laboratories is another such filter. Now, they're using these kinds of papers to filter in the laboratories. Oh, you can call as water purifying plants have sand filters. Water purifying plants have what? Sand filters. Now, these are some of the examples. So, a filter has a small holes. Particles smaller than the holes can pass through. Now, that's another thing. So, that sandpaper is definitely got small holes. When you are zooming it, also, you can't see it, but it is getting filtered. But particles larger than those holes cannot pass through them. This is the concept used in what? Filtration. So, in that paper, the laboratory papers, that concept is used, the filtration. In filtration, the substance left in the filter is cold residue. You can see very closely. Let me take my pen. Here, this portion, there is chalk the residue what is that suspension of choke in water choke and the water is mixed what they doing is they are making a filter they are making a filter and then after that you can see the choke pieces or choke residue is there and you're getting the water that's called the filtrate that's called what the filtrate so we get to new name while the solution that gets filtered is known as the filtrate. The filtrate and the residue. Let's see another one. Beaker containing mixture. Right? Beaker containing mixture over here. And then here also the funnel has. They're using the funnel and the paper. The filter paper and the residue you can see. And the filtrate also you can see. So we understood. During the filtration. During the filtration. Something they're using for the filter and residue is the substances left in the filter is called residue and the filtrate is the solution that gets filtered that is known as filtrate now that example also in this beautiful example also we saw that the milk which is a filtrate and the residue will be the pieces of the coconut scrap that will be there on that filter itself we understood the subject very well and in the filtration a filter is used let's understand the rest of the subject in our next video session until then bye bye and take care of yourself